If we look deep into the Urban Dictionary, we can find a lot of words. One of these words are used a lot in the internet space in the spy moment of May 2005. It starts with an O and ends with a D. And no, it is not what happened to Juicy Sick f Guess in 5 crab seconds. If you thought of Lil Wayne, you're done for. It was actually overhyped. Now, what do you think of when you hear overhyped? Is it Sexy Red, Vegemite, or even Logan Paul? Well... Why the f*** is everybody in my chat spamming well, well, well? Well, you probably didn't think of FNAF, right? Not being stupid right now, am I? FNAF is really popular. It's maybe on the same level as Playboy 40 when he made Magnolia. And just like the game Vampire, FNAF tries to be scary with cute characters at the center. Unlike Mrs. Music, FNAF actually released their games before the deadline. Why'd you make that comparison? Asked Makai nicely. Well, both are popular, both have gay fan bases, and people make videos on them. Glazing or not, they are still videos about something popular, which are made to get popularity. Many of us on YouTube hope to reach the goal of being popular. Either that, or we do it for the fun, and the popularity can be a motivator. But all the way before 2008, there was no such thing as monetization on YouTube. Monetization? Who? No one knew what that was at the time. They probably thought it was just an adjective for a rich person. But when December 2007 struck, you could finally get an excuse to leave your part-time job for an obscure video streaming platform that went on the news because of his first ever video. That video was of a guy at some zoo that had the rare species of an elephant. Keep in mind that this platform was made to see an accidental flash from Jeanette Jackson. Well, look how that turned out. That's racist. Now, running back in time to 2022, we can see that a lot has changed since 2008. Wait, is that a dragon? During our time skip, we unfortunately didn't talk about 2014. In August 2014, an indie game developer named Scott Cawthon that almost ended his career made a PowerPoint presentation disguised as a horror game. Many people flocked to it like a Twitter user to a cat meme, and it's understandable why. The game is as simple as a Google Slide slideshow that you probably shouldn't show to a pre-K class or else you're gonna shit their asses off and make the carpet the color of shit and corn. Now, everyone in their books started playing this game on camera so that they could farm as many views off of Marky Moo and Cory the Samurai that's dropping in 49 month or as possible. Now, back to 2022, a YouTuber that has made a new video on his channel has officially planted a kibble, not a seed. And this YouTuber's name is... In 2022, an unknown corny YouTuber named Uh No decided to make one video and dip. This video was of a fat fuck named Nick called the Bakashiho and measuring how strong he is based off of shirts. You see, the underground YouTube landscape can vary greatly in quality on what type of YouTubers you watch. There's people like that make great videos and others that make what I and many others classify as mediocre at best. Uh No falls into the category of ones that make mediocre ways that are basically made to be background noise. Me personally, I think that you should have more going on in your video than the Sony Vegas effect that slapped over sped up footage with overused game music. I swear that you creators are doing this shit on purpose to get people slopped up all over your basic ass content to trick them into feeling that they actually have a purpose. There's no other reason than money of course, and if you want that money, that sweet old wonder white bread, then you need to make a second channel which is usually way less popular than your already made channel that has a shit ton of empty subscribers. Of course, this did not happen, because this new channel went into the mainstream, causing people to think that this is what FNAF video should be like. This channel's name is Oh uh, Yeah. Mr. Aw oh, Fuck is a representative of the YouTube category that I like to call middle of the barrel basic. He makes mediocre content that you watch for 3 minutes max until you realize that the shit isn't even interesting or funny, which it really attempts to be for some reason. 
If you saw 10 videos in her thumbnails, you would think that he uses an AI bot for Photoshop because how repetitive these get. It's once in a blue that he does something different than his copy and paste format that influences other YouTubers to do the same. Just like his thumbnails, Anya is a copy and paste format YouTuber who uses the same template for every video that he uploads, which is somehow once in a month. I genuinely don't understand why these videos take super long when they're one of the most simple and rewarding videos you can make on the website. Come on, purple to purple, we both know that you don't make good videos. Videos. If we put on one of each other's joints for movie night, can you guess who getting kicked out first? I cannot have made a more narcissistic, obviously untruthful question, I'm sorry. Sadly, if you try to say any opinion in the FNAF community, you'll probably get shit on by people who use Twitter a lot, or kids that don't know what they're talking about. And that's part of the- uh... Yeah. problem, and the whole reason why I deleted 30 days of work to rewrite the script, is the fact that this represents the FNAF community. Why am I the first one in great quality to talk about this problem? But here's the thing, because this game is really simple, and making money is also very simple, guess what people do with this game? That's how some things that we love have the biggest fucking problems that barely anyone that likes it even knows about. Now, you might say, yo, you can just ignore the problem, they're not doing anything wrong, but how am I supposed to ignore the problem when it's the meta for the videos about this game. The only section of the cram meter I can give this is right here. That's all I have to say for tonight. Um, I'm sorry that I'm supposed to be editing right now, but, um, can y'all please unsubscribe? Like, just because I don't post, doesn't mean that you have to keep subscribed and waiting for the next video. Just unsubscribe. Y'all all came from this video right here. Unsubscribe, nigga.